With the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics getting closer, athletes around the world are wrapping up their preparations. One mixed doubles curling pair from Norway will be looking to see that, looking to the, these games to continue their success story, not just in sporting terms, but also on a personal level, as the rink is where they met two years ago before getting married. Sports scene's Yu Mandan tells us their story. Kristen Skarsling and Magnus Nettergotten are currently mixed doubles partners from Norway, and they're also partners in their daily life as a married couple. From 2013 to 2019, the pair represented their country at the World Curling Mixed Doubles Championship six times and won a bronze medal at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. In May, the couple won silver at the World Championship, which sealed their place for Beijing. Uh, the goal for Beijing is, um, yeah, I would say, a gold medal in Beijing. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the goal in, uh, in Beijing is to win gold. Due to the pandemic, Skarsling and Nedrogotten couldn't compete at many international competitions, and they were forced to train and maintain their competitive level at home. Uh, now we have uh, practiced more at home and uh, have to find opponents that is good enough for our level to be matched against. Uh, and we also uh, are together 24-7 because we have to be uh, at home most of the time. So uh, sometimes we can start to argue a little bit more than before, but uh, all in all, it's uh, going very well. Just do our best and uh, focus on ourselves. The duo have, of course, their problems, but their closeness as a couple, they believe, has led them to have more chemistry on the rink. It's both advantages and disadvantages uh, playing together as a couple. But I think the advantages is probably you know each other so well and you can say exactly what you, you mean to, to the other person. So I think, uh, I think that's part of our, uh, our success. The thing is when we start to, for example, argue a little bit, then it's much easier when you know the other person so well. Then we know that we'll fix this in 10 minutes. The game's in Canada. So will it continue in Beijing? but I can't tell you which pants we're gonna wear. It was a very cool thing to do, like it got a curling, the sport of curling, a lot of uh, attention. As for the rest of the Norwegian curlers, they hope Beijing is the place where they can reach the peak of their abilities. I have now only seen picture of the uh, curling arena and the venues and it looks absolutely amazing, so we are very much looking forward to going to Beijing. That is the most important thing for me about the Olympics, as. Uh, as a person, as an athlete, it is the biggest thing you can compete in. So it's very important. You feel more nervous, you are more stressed when it's a big event like this. So um, it's a dream to come to the Olympics once again and try to uh, achieve maybe the biggest goal of our lives. With three months to go, this Norwegian couple and many other global athletes will gather here at the Ice Cube in Beijing to compete for their Olympic dreams. But only a special few will make them a reality. Zhu Mandan, CGTN.